Hey everybody, welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is stopping the tank from crossing over the barrier, as well as we're going to go ahead and fix the hard coding and the width of the barrier. So maybe later on down the road, you might decide, hey, I want to make the barrier wider or whatever, and you can actually you can do it a little bit better than what we've done. So real quick, let's fix that hard coding of the barrier. So I'm going to go into our uh, barrier function as soon as I find it. There it is. And then I'm just going to add another parameter and it's going to be barrier underscore width. I'm going to copy that and then we're going to go over into where we draw it. Come over. And then where we had this 50 in the, you know, you've got to game display the color black and then you've got X, Y, width, height. I'm going to replace 50 with barrier width. Then uh, what we want to do is we're going to come down to our uh, game loop here and we've got uh, where we draw down in the bottom here we've got barrier and then we'll just do comma barrier width and then finally we want to uh, oh we need to define barrier width so at the very top of the game loop function let's just go ahead and say barrier width equals 50 so later on, if you want, we're not going to change it, I don't think, in this series, but um, if you want to be able to change it or modify that, you can. So now that we've done that, the other thing I want to do, the more important thing I want us to do, is to stop our tank from being able to cross over the barrier. So right now, our tank can just, like, I don't know, drive over the barrier, drive through the barrier. So we don't want that to be happening. So instead, what we need to do is basically... We've got you know this this event handling functionality, and then after the event handling functionality, we should have a, a slight bit of logic functionality, no different than we have logic functionality here. So, <clears throat> what do we want to happen if the tank goes into the barrier? Well, it's a tank, so if the tank drives into the barrier, we're not going to be like game over, <laughs> you know, we're not going to do that. Um, but if the tank, we want to make it to the point where the tank cannot drive through the barrier. So almost like it, well, it's a barrier, <laughs> right? So um, let's go ahead and add some quick logic here. Since this seems to be uh, where we've begun our um, fail-safe logic of sorts, we'll just continue building here. And we're going to ask a, a few questions. So we're going to say if, um, and then uh, here's the tank, right? Uh, sorry, make sure you do this before you draw the tank. It doesn't totally matter it would just look like your tank is bouncing a lot more than it is but uh, so you're gonna say if main tank X um, if main tank X minus uh, we've got uh, well, we have tank width let's see if we have tank width main tank uh, where is our Let's see, let's look up, let me bring this over here, tank height, right. So we do have a tank width and a tank height, so we want to say tank, we could do tank width, I suppose, let's, well, we'll pass through tank width. So if main tank x minus uh, tank width. If that is less than uh, the barrier underscore location, or barrier x location rather, so barrier underscore x location uh, plus barrier width, and actually, all right, that's just x location, not barrier x location. I want to make that barrier location, but anyway, uh, main tank x minus tank width, and really we might not even need the minus tank width. I don't really. We'll try this first. Um, minus or is less than x location plus barrier width. So main tank x should, but I think main tank x is where the turret is. So really, you'd want to use half of the width. Um, I'm almost positive actually. So minus. Um, tank width width divided by 2 and really this is all one thing so if main tank x minus tank width divided by 2 is less than the x location which is the left hand side of the barrier plus barrier width 
So if that is the case, what do we want to do? Um, we're just going to basically move the tank. Um, so we're just going to say main tank x plus equals 5. Adding to x will move the tank right, so we should be fine. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see if we uh, did that okay. Okay, barrier width is not defined. Um, what do we call barrier? Oh, it's barrier underscore width. So barrier underscore width. Play. Okay, so let's drive our tank into the barrier here. And you see that we're not able to get our tank to run into the barrier. So now we've got that done, so our tank is stuck there. So now we won't be driving over the barrier. Awesome. So now that we've done that, uh, we're ready to move on. That's a decent enough barrier. Uh, so the next thing that we want to be able to do is actually make our tank fire something. So this is actually going to be a slight challenge because we need to be able to program an arc and not just program any arc. It needs to be an arc that starts and stops at specific points. We need to know where that arc is and we can't really, I mean, we could use something like a quadratic equation to get that uh, to work, but the problem is X and Y, first of all, don't operate the way that we might think they should um, here. This is not a coordinate plane. This is X and Y where zero, zero is the top left. So, um, it's a little bit of a challenge. We could, you know, write some code to like shift over the plane basically, but um, I think I've got an easier solution. <laughs> it's just like a, a basic quadratic equation or a modified quadratic equation that we'll probably do. But we'll save that for the next video, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.